friends, this is Meg at Chasing Retro. I have a church yard sale haul today to show you, and I also made a couple of stops the same day at Michael's and Marshall's. I'll show you what I found at each spot. First for the church yard sale, I bought a giant bag of plastic Easter eggs. Um, I had gotten rid of most of ours that our kids played with and hunted for when they were little, and then I regretted that deeply because I'm gonna have grandkids one day and um, you know, they're, they're just nostalgic. And some of the ones I think I got rid of were ones that I used to hunt for. But anyway, it's in the past. Um, I'm building back my, my collection and they had the plain, plain ones, of course, but then they had these still in the packages. These are old Target items, 2001. I don't know why this one bunny turned yellow, or at least only half of them did, but these are so cute. They could be, um, there's strings in here, so they can be hung up on a tree, or you can use them for hunting and putting in an Easter basket. But I think they're adorable. Um, I'm not gonna show you all the plastic eggs because they all look the same, but someone had also made these. They're I think they're decoupage foam eggs. They're very pretty. It looks like they use colored floral paper maybe and then put clear glitter on the top. So I had three or four of these in different colors. And then what caught my eye and made me buy the bag in the first place was this. These are also plastic, but are they not so pretty? They're Victorian or shabby chic looking. I have never seen any anything like this before. So I'm guessing they're all about the same age because they probably came from the same household. Also, at the very bottom of that bag, there were a few more ornaments for Easter trees. Unfortunately, some of them are broken. These are the little wooden ones that, you see them at Christmas time too. I don't really know if they have a name, but. So we have this little flower, flower pot with a mouse but he, this little flower has broken off, so I have to repair that one. And then this flower petal is hanging by a thread and it goes on this little flower pot. I might just replace that whole thing with a toothpick and paint it. Then I have these, these are not broken. These are cute little bunnies that have a little string and they have two of them are holding flowers. I just, they're even decorated on the back. <laughs> so adorable. Whoever, well, they said over 100 families had donated to this yard sale, and I believe it. It was a gymnasium full, but some someone had brought in all of their Reader's Digest, and they went all the way back to the 50s, and I looked through them, and I only got one. I got the one that looked the most mid-century I love the blue with the sparkles or snowflakes, whatever you want to call that. Um, this has been taped back, but of course this will go away because I turned the journal into a, turned these into a journal. I found this beautiful coral and green doily to be determined if I'm gonna actually use it or cut it apart. I'll probably end up cutting it apart. Most of the doilies in my house that I actually use are made by my great-grandmother, so I try to limit it to those, but the, it looks like they're layered flowers. They're very pretty, and I love the colors. This was in a box at the very bottom of a box with a bunch of towels that were not that old, so I'm really glad that I dug through the box and found this because most people probably didn't see it. Um, I found a box of trims and I went through it and picked up, um, always pick up Rick Rack when I see it. And then this beautiful gold, I guess you would call this brocade trim, it's sort of a metallic trim. It's not elastic. It's just really pretty gold. Uh, and then in the same box, there was some ribbon. And I found this bag of all patriotic ribbon. So 
So I'll be separating these into my bags of by color. And then things that are multicolor. I have a multicolor bag. But yeah. Lovely. I don't know if these were hair bows or or what, but they're tied together at the top. And I just love gingham. I, I, I pick up gingham whenever I see it. So these are very, look like they're not even used. <laughs> I got a beautiful lamp and I'll have to show that separately because it's kind of covered up right now, but it looks like this, the nineties folk art type style. And like, I need another lamp. I have an obsession with buying lamps, but I couldn't pass it up. So it will be on my craft desk in front of me. Then I found a bag of buttons. Some of these are quite vintage. And I think most of them in the bag are for men. Like they look like buttons that you would have on a coat, a sport coat or a men's dress shirt. They're kind of boring colors, <laughs> tan, brown, and gray. Um, but then I thought it was worth a dollar just for these button cards. I have never heard of this store. I'm assuming it's not in my part of the country. So if y'all recognize that, let me know. And also tell me how it's pronounced. But I thought these were quite pretty too. And there's one yellow one on there, or I guess that's sort of a pimento cheese color. I found this adorable tray. I don't know the age, I'm guessing late 70s. It's a beautiful rusted orange, and then these are embossed painted flowers. There's no markings on the back. I will be using, the, I love to find little trays like this because they store very flat. I keep them stored between my one of my rolling carts and my desk, and they're just great to put things when you're sorting small pieces and trying to get things in order. You can just stack, stack, stack these on top of each other and they're fun. And, you know, I would, I would never use this for food probably because it doesn't tell me if it's food safe or not. So to my crafting desk, it goes. I found three books, three children's books. This one is quite vintage, but it has been much loved. I think the bottom corner has been bitten off. <laughs> There's no first page, um, and most of the pages are torn. So I will be cutting the images out for use in journals, what's left of them. And that one looks like he's smiling and that's cute. I don't even know who the author and illustrator is of this. I wanna say Garth Williams based on what it looks like, but if anyone has this book, I'd love to know who the illustrator is since the page is gone. Yeah, so cute. <laughs> These little ducks. Um, so I will be using this for the cover. I can make a cute junk journal out of the cover. And then whenever I see this one, I pick it up. If I don't end up keeping it, I'll put it in my shop. It's got a little bit of a bent corner, but uh, the pages are very clean and nice. And then I found a Richard Scary book. The outside is quite dirty, but the inside looks great. I don't understand, but sometimes that happens. Um, but these are just, I love these oversized pages because you can fold them and then fold a, a bottom part up and make a pocket page. And they're just so full color. And anyone else like me who grew up with Richard Scarry and my son and daughter shared my love of it. And we we had all the Richard Scarry books. And we had we watched the Richard Scarry Busy Town cartoon. We were able to find reruns of that. So I love these word books. They're just there's so much for you to feast your eyes on. So cute. Lots of giraffes in here, so that's something to keep in mind. Aw. So 
So yeah, clean pages, like I said. Oh, it was a library book. Maybe that explains part of it. And then, the last thing I found at the yard sale were doilies. These are new old stock. This one, I believe, is either Dollar Tree or Dollar General. Um, and they're a beautiful shade of Kelly Green. I don't have this color. And this can be used for more than just Christmas, I think. Nope, it's Dollar Tree. But it must be old because I haven't seen the Christmas house brand or green doilies at Dollar Tree in a very long time. These are probably going to go in my shop, y'all. Um, these are precious. They look very vintage, if I'm guessing late 70s, early 80s. And they're St. Pat's Day, and they have these little orange-headed leprechauns. And there's 16, no, there's 24 in here. So I never, I never find something this old, like not opened at all. So I was excited about that. And then I got two Royal Lace brands of the poinsettia. And I'll probably put the one of these in my shop closer to Christmas, you know, into the fall. I don't understand why there's, I'm assuming this was, Originally at Publix for 75 and then they marked it down to 15 Um, But yeah, when Publix had price tags, this is at least 20 years old, probably. But I've seen the poinsettia ones before. I don't think I've seen this exact pattern, and I think it's very lovely. So this was another thing that was in the, a box on the floor that I kind of had to bend down and go through lift stuff off of because there were a lot of newer gift bags on top but I found these very excited then I went to Michael's and I had a voucher to spend I don't know if y'all use Michael's rewards um I know their sales are not that great anymore uh but when I do when I do need to stock up on something like cardstock I'll take advantage of their buy one, get two free sale or something. And then you get points if you're a rewards member. And eventually they'll send you a, a voucher. Usually I get mine in $5 increments at a time. However, occasionally I'll get real close to what I need for a voucher. I think this past time it said I had to spend, and then I only needed to come in and spend 93 more cents to get my next voucher. Well, I didn't. I just let it kind of ride and sit and one day, this has happened twice now, I got an email from Michael saying, we ran, went ahead and credited you what you need to get your next voucher. You have a $5 voucher. So I went in and I do what they probably don't want me to do. I only spent $5. This, these two items came out to $4 and 90 something cents. So I didn't have to pay anything. Um, this is the little wood stamp sets that they used to have in the dollar spot. At my Michaels, they've moved these all to the stamp aisle, but they're not priced. But I remembered that they were $1.99. So I got these for my dog and cat journals. And then I've been looking at this little paper pad for a while, but didn't really want to spend the money on it. So technically I didn't. <laughs> I mean, I guess all, somewhere along the way, technically I did, but um, this is my favorite pattern. That's kind of why I got the pack was for that page. That's pretty too. So yeah, real bright and colorful, floral, happy florals. Um, I don't want to leave anything out. Let me just do a quick scan. Yeah. Um, at Marshall's, well, let me show you this first. My daughter got some makeup. And now that I'm junk journaling, we look at everything with fresh eyes. She got this makeup or eyeshadow palette called Macaroon Magic. And it is gorgeous. I can see this becoming a giant journaling card for a junky junk journal. Or if you didn't want to have, you know, the the name brand, you could easily cut two smaller ones or make a frame. Cut this out and use this as a frame somehow. So she gave this to me. And of course, I was like, um, yes, I will be using this for my put that in my card stash for my journaling and then did not plan on buying anything at Marshall's but y'all these napkins 
get ready. I have never seen strawberry napkins this cute at Marshall's. They look retro. They have a scalloped edge. They're the Martha Stewart brand. Um, most of their napkins are $4.99 a pack. I think their beverage napkins are $3.99, but you get a lot in here. And this one, I saw this at the checkout. You know how good they are about placement at the checkout line? Well, yeah, I saw this and I immediately thought vintage sheets. It just looked like vintage sheets to me. So I had to get these as well. Those are daisies. I don't know if you can see the petals on them, but um, these were also $4.99. And this is the Ecolo, Ecolo brand. So um, there were many, many, many more that I left behind because I limited myself to two. But for decoupaging, not just paper, but you know, things in your household. I kept thinking, like, how pretty would this be on a ceramic bunny if you decoupaged it? Um, check Marshall's out. Don't sleep on Marshall's napkins. For real. <laughs> the last thing I want to show is last week for my birthday, my parents came over, and my mom holds stuff for me that she is done with that she knows I can use for journaling. And she is making a dollhouse right now. She's completely done with the exterior. It's a beach bungalow. I may have to show y'all a picture when she's done. It's gorgeous, but she bought this pack of fabrics to make pillows for the couch and the bed, and obviously had a lot left over, so she brought them to me. I think these are from Hobby Lobby, but they're just a colorful spring assortment of fabrics and 100% cotton, and I will be adding these to my Fabric drawers. Speaking of, um, my son had some plastic storage drawers that he was not using, so he gave them to me, and I have put all of my fat quarter and, and roughly the size of a fat quarter fabrics by color in those drawers, and it is working out so well. It actually, it actually slides underneath my sewing desk, which means when I open the top drawer, I have to pull it out to see it, but it is... I've gotten a fabric tote out of the way that was just sitting in the, honestly in our way for a long time. So I was able to put all the fabric in the drawers and it looks amazing. So I'm, I will be adding these back color to my drawers. So let me know your favorite thing. Um, this shirt shower sale was not on my radar. It was not advertised in any of the places I normally look at, but my mom texted me like 10.30 on Friday night and said, you might be interested. And sure enough, we were, we all went, we all four got up early and went to this yard sale and we all four found something fun. So it was fun. I'm excited that spring is here and yard sales are coming back. And that's not the only reason I'm glad spring is here. It's my favorite season, but um, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying your week so far and I'll talk to you in the next video. Y'all have a great one.